uh, Tristan, why don't you give a fuck? Like, you, you seem so apathetic about it, you know? Like, you don't care. You're like, put me in jail. How would giving a fuck help me? Fair. How would it assist my current situation? It wouldn't. So, imagine you're on a cruise liner, and you're sailing from Liverpool to New York, right? You know the story that's Titanic and all that young. And everyone's like, oh, there are icebergs in the ocean. Cool, well, I'm going to put on my tuxedo and I'm going to go to dinner. You know, if we hit one, we hit one. That's the situation I feel like I'm in right now. I'm sitting on the HMS Titanic ordering a luxurious dinner because if they decide to send me to jail, they fucking decide to send me to jail. If, if this all goes away, it all goes away. It's going to end one way or another. And I'm not going to be in jail for the rest of my life. I'm going to do five years, six years on this bullshit. I'll still be rich. I'll still be 40. I'll still be out. I'll still have time with my kids. Everything's going to be okay eventually. So yeah, caring, I don't think really would benefit my situation at all. So I've decided not to. I don't care at all. And they really fucked up. Because if I had never been to jail, this cloud hanging over my head of, oh, maybe you'll go to jail. Maybe you won't. They go out sometimes if you don't like them often enough. Yeah. This cloud hanging over my head might bother me. And I might think, ah, oh, jail, what's that like? Is that going to be bad? I've experienced jail. I've been baptized by the fire already. The worst thing this government can legally do to me is just put me back where they took me out from. And I'm not, I'm not nervous about that anymore. I'm not nervous about the jail itself. I'm not nervous about the effects on my business or my family or my influence. Most people will know this is a setup because by probably by the time Romania decides it's time to put Tristan in jail and he's guilty, I would have won in the American courts and that news will be everywhere. And everyone will know who my false accusers were and what they said and how they bragged about planning it. And then if Romania decides to put me in jail, good, then Romania looks stupid. It doesn't affect me. So I truly don't care because I'm not at the stage in my life where jail is going to massively interrupt anything. I'm not, I'm no longer on my way to the top. I'm not on my ascent to the top. I've reached the top. So I'm going to go to jail as a rich man, come out as a rich man. Fucking do it, you know? Do it. You told the whole world I'm a human trafficker. Put me in jail. I don't care. So, yeah, why should I care? I watched an interview between you and Billy Redhorse a while back. So oh. this is six, five and a half years ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Um, I, I will say as a disclaimer that I've been talking on the internet for a very long time. Yeah. Probably about 10 years or so. So I was maybe 11. I was about 25 when I started talking on the internet. And a 25-year-old man's views of women and relationships in life are very different to a 36-year-old man's views. So it's very easy to pick up clips of me saying all sorts of outlandish bullshit, because I've said loads of it, as a young, brash 25-year-old who thinks he's the shit. And as an older, smarter 36-year-old, there are lots of things that Tristan Tate of the past has said that I wouldn't agree with today. So that's the disclaimer before you ask me <laughs> any, any questions. 